Given the functions f of x and g of x, complete the table of values for each operation and draw the graph. State the domain and range of the combined function. In part a, we'll graph h of x equals f plus g of x. f plus g of x is the same as f of x plus g of x. It means add the y values of the two graphs. Add the y values of both graphs to get negative 6. Record this value in the table. Add the y values of the next point to get negative 6. Add the y values of the next point to get 0. Add the y values of the remaining points and record the sums in the table. We can now draw the graph of h of x. The domain of h of x is between negative 8 and 4 inclusive. The range of h of x is between negative 9 and 0 inclusive. In part b, we'll draw the graph of h of x equals f minus g of x. f minus g of x is the same as f of x minus g of x. It means subtract the y values of the two graphs. The first point only exists on one of the graphs. Since we have only one value, we can't subtract. We can record this in the table as DNE, which is an acronym for does not exist. Subtract the y values of the next point to get 10. Subtract the y values of the next point to get 9. Subtract the y values of the remaining points and record the differences in the table. We can now draw the graph of h of x. The domain of h of x is between negative 5 and 3, inclusive. The range of h of x is between 2 and 10, inclusive. In part c, we'll draw the graph of h of x equals f times g of x. f times g of x is the same as f of x times g of x. It means multiply the y values of the two graphs. Multiply the y values of the first point to get negative 4. Multiply the y values of the next point to get negative 8. Multiply the y values of the remaining points and record the products in the table. We can now draw the graph of h of x. The domain of h of x is between negative 6 and 3 inclusive. The range of h of x is between negative 8 and negative 2 inclusive. In part d, we'll draw the graph of h of x equals f divided by g of x. f divided by g of x is the same as f of x divided by g of x. It means divide the y values of the two graphs. The first point only exists on one of the graphs, so we can't divide. Record this in the table as does not exist. Divide the y values of the next point to get negative 4. Divide the y values of the next point to get negative 8. Divide the y values of the remaining points and record the quotients in the table.
we can now draw the graph of h of x. The domain of h of x is between negative 4 and 4 inclusive. The range of h of x is between negative 8 and negative 2 inclusive.